Yeah. What is up, dudes? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. You guys can probably see it down below in the thumbnail and title. We are doing a little bit more camping again. We're also going to be doing some cooking and stuff and catching some fish. We're back out on a red lake again. I don't know if the title says anything about that, but yeah, we're residing out at JR's Corner out on Red Lake. If you guys haven't heard of JR's Corner, they are the dopest resort around this lake. I'm gonna link them down below. If any of y'all are coming out to Red Lake anytime soon, this is the spot to be. Hit them up. Tell them Murda sent you. Here's the house we're staying in. I'll uh, give you a walkthrough real quick. I got the Crocs on, just in case y'all didn't notice that. Just chilling in comfort. Anyways, here's where I'm gonna be chilling this whole entire video. We got my bunk right here with my sleeping bag and whatnot. We got my power box down here. We got my rattle reel hole right here. When that thing goes off, it's gonna make some noise. Over here, we got a bobber going, just chilling on the pillow with the Vexilar down. We do have a pan optics going too, but that's not out yet. All of JR's fish houses have these little cook stoves. That's really badass. I do have my own cook stove, but it's way better to just use these inside the house. Camping totes filled with freaking cooking stuff and just random stuff that we need and yeah, there's just more camera stuff. B-Rock's gonna be joining us also, but he's actually, he had to run into town to get us some more supplies because we've actually already been out here for two nights. But yeah, this is where B-Rock's chilling. This is his bunk right here. Got all his stuff, camera stuff, fishing stuff up there too. That's pretty much it. We are just in the middle of Red Lake right now and... We're just going to be kind of chilling. Like I said, we're going to be cooking some stuff later. I actually got some steak on Thon right now, so we're going to do a little surf and turf later with some steak and some walleyes. But yeah, this video, we're just mainly going to be, like, chilling and just catching walleyes in comfort and having a good time. Anyway, stay tuned. B-Rock should be coming back shortly. Uh, he's bringing an otter, too. We need to make our holes bigger because they kind of froze up last night. But yeah, stay tuned. Should be a pretty chill video. Let's get right into it. Dude, no way. I can see you from here. And what the hell, dude? <gasps> dude, what the frick? It's cold out. You walked the whole way? Yeah, there I'm back. Why? Just don't pick me up. What? Yeah. Dude, let me see your face. Probably melting off by now, but yeah. When you when you walk in, I got a in. picture. <laughs> Check out Insert the picture here. <laughs> you got the stuff. Do I got the stuff? <laughs> well, they gave us some bones for free since they're in the freezer. Really? Yeah. So we got eight bones. Shout out Jr's Garner. Love them. A couple slices of cheese for your boy. Oh my lord. A root beer. Oh my lord. Another rope here. Rope here for your boy. Hershey's bar, Skittles, chocolate, Starburst, more what? Skittles, peanut and <laughs> Reese's. I bought every kind nice. of They didn't have no stickers though. Super random, but like I mentioned, we've been out here for a couple nights already. And the first two nights, we didn't bring any food out here. We were just like cooking what we could catch. If you guys haven't seen last video, go watch that. But yeah, we got some snacks now. Oh. No fish when I was gone? Dude, no fish. Do fish and more merch, yo. Go check it out. Link in the description or teespring.com slash fish and more. Alright, let's catch a fish, y'all. We need to catch fish. I haven't really been fishing either. <laughs> <laughs> I cleaned up, brushed my I teeth, put on some deodorant. You know, that type of stuff. You want me to top these holes off? Yeah, let's cut some new holes right now. Legit. Yo, film this. Give, give him a shot of that hole. That is a freaking three inch hole. <laughs> they froze overnight. <laughs> you gotta open these suckers up. Oh my god. Is that good? I don't know. I don't wanna make a mess. <laughs> know what y'all are thinking murder which one are you gonna go in for first easy right there yeah right 
Reese's? Sauce went over. I don't want to throw it. Throw it. You want me to? Yeah, yeah, You're crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Good catch. Breakfast of champions. Yeah, it's lunch. All right, it's time to get serious. We got the holes re-drilled. We got the pan optics in. We got four lines down. Brock, it's time to goddamn catch some fish. Yeah, my bobber's bobbing, man. Next scene, it's going to be us catching a fish. Okay, he's coming up for it now. I was trying to... Oh. Come on. He's coming and collaborate. He's still behind, like, behind it. Here, point that camera at me. So this is basically what we've been dealing with the past, like, hour. Fish come in, go on both, on all baits, and they just leave. He's on this bait hard, though. Yeah, he is. He's got it. Yep. I got him. No way. <laughs> oh, I just lost him. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Oh. There's a little... Damn it. Oh, I hit the camera. <laughs> when he came back, yeah. I stopped him. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'll get out of your way next time. No, you're good, that's my fault. I suck at rattle reels. 11 minutes later. We got this bobber down. Oh, man. Got him. Got him? Nice. He's like an eater. Oh! Perch? You gotta perch it. Let's go. I thought that was for sure a walk. Wow. We're gonna let him go. Yeah? Yeah. We're gonna let him go. I think we wanna eat, eat whale ice later. Not harvesting the perch. Bye, bud. Well, that freaking threw me off. 100% thought that was a perfect eater walleye. It's a little perch. Frick. The old sun just set. Look at all the rentals. They, they're getting ready for the weekend. And over here. We got the full moon. We got a full moon tonight. I don't know if I mentioned that to y'all. Burr, it's cold out. Still no walleyes. Been really slow, but like I just mentioned, we got a full moon tonight. So we're thinking that's kind of why the walleyes haven't been biting. And we're hoping that they're going to start biting once the sun goes down like it is. So yeah, hopefully we start getting some fish. What do you think there? It's also freezing cold. Dude, it's so cold. Negative like six right now, current temp. Without wind chill. Could be why they're not biting either. Yeah, these starbursts are bossing. Though. Yeah, I know. Give me another one. You marking over there? No. <laughs> that was a firm no. <laughs> and yeah. Fast. <laughs> yeah, no. Comfy though. I'll tell you that for free. Alright, Rattle Reel just went down, watched it on the pan optics. Just now getting dark. B Rock's about to stick dinner. Yeah? Is it good? Feels nice. Feels nice? Put that over there. No! <laughs> Feels like dinner. Perfect eater. Let's go. Dude, I was getting scared. Me too, dude. It's been super tough. We just got tangled like a mother trucker, but... Perfect eater. Just sitting, hanging out, listening to music. Yeah, perfect. You know, you just got the players or just get them? Yeah, I got it. Hopefully now they uh, start to turn on a little bit. Man, he's perfectly hooked, too. Nice. Where's All right, that? well, buddy's getting the knife. Add him to the pile. We got some more in here. Right there. Let's go ahead and show this from afar so we don't get demonetized. Just slip, just slip in there. Yeah, as long as he starts bleeding when you do it. Put those down the bottom, maybe. This one's frozen. Bricked up. Bricked up? <laughs> yeah, oh, so. Hopefully we can just catch a few more and we can just take those back home. Yeah. Stay tuned, y'all. Hopefully they start firing up. We need a few more. I'm getting hungry already. Well, it is complete darkness, as you can see. So I think the old uh, PJs are going on. Getting, I'm, I'm taking the comfiness to a whole new level here. Oh man, we might be marking. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> All right, we got the lucky jammies on. It's time to catch some fish. Still there, you think? Gotta be. Yeah, you catch this fish right now. 
Yeah. Like right now. So hungry. No way. No. No way. Is it still there? Yeah. He just started pulling it down. No, he's still there, I assume. Okay. Got him. Nice, dude. Feels nice. Eater? Come on. Oh, yeah. We're eating it. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to get gilled, but I don't. Okay, we're pulling him up. Yeah. Ah. Dude, nice. Get the grease going. Come on, hook. <laughs> that's awesome. Dude, that's a good one. Yeah. There's some meat on that sucker. Is it's been so slow. Like so slow. Can we get a time check? One second. It's seven o'clock just about. Six fifty six. We're starving. Let's get this thing cut up right now and the other one. And we got two more we might cut up too, but yeah, let's get her going. Huge dude. Dude. Rattle real. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got our little fillet station all dialed. We even got our electric fillet knife. We got a little power bank back here. Yeah, I'm going to rip through these real quick. And I'm starving. I don't know about Brock, but I'm, yeah, I'm just going to rip through these quick. I've got to debone it, but look at that hunk of meat. Take our Cajun fish batter, that's what we're using today. Well, Cajun. Take ourselves a baggie. Already had some in there from the batch we had the other night. Next, just gonna take about half of these fish, stuff it in here, maybe even add a little bit more Cajun on the top. And just shake it up. Shake, 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 shake it up. I'm pretty sure B Rock uh, already got some grease going on the stove, so yeah, we'll get these in there in no time. And you can eat. We got ourselves a big old hunk of venison. Big old venison steak. Bam, look at that. You want to toss this in the garbage for me? That's a big, nice hunk of meat, dude. That thing's good to go. I'm not even going to do anything to it. Dry it off a little bit. I'm gonna get some seasoning on it. I need some paper towel. Alright, first thing, we're gonna take just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I've been using this. It sounds weird, but I've been using this uh, veggie rub by Traeger. This is like actually for veggies, but it's like really good on steak. So I've been saucing the steak up with this a ton. And then we're gonna spin it around and do the exact same thing to this side. And I think I might wait on this for a little bit, eh? Wait till like the first batch of fish is maybe almost done. And then we'll start cooking this. And it's pretty thin, it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's a, yeah, it's a yeah, pretty nice piece of chunk a, of meat. That's a freaking, that's huge. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of meat. That definitely looks ready to rock. It feels hot. It might even be too hot. I'm gonna turn it down a tad, but we're adding a bunch. Mm -hmm. Take the rest of your fish. Got Brock shaking up the second batch. First batch is, is coming along. The grease is like perfect. Perfect temperature. I thought it was a little too hot, but nah. Is that butter in there? Then take like I don't know, two, two teaspoons of butter? Lots of butter. Okay. A little bit. Try all the butter will go to one side. Dude, it's kind of freaking hectic kicking steak and fish all at once. Done, eh? Yeah. Should I rip those off, you think? First batch is done here. We just set right here. Oh. Second batch going in. Hopefully, 
we got enough to fill this pan. So we'll update, just flip the stave. Got the fish, the second batch of the fish, just about done. Stay tuned, y'all. We're about to be eating like things. Yeah, I gotta smother that thing in some butter to it. Take all this burnt bug butter. Put it all over this stuff. Y'all know the rule? The chef always gets a quick taste test. Holy crap, bro. That's so good. As always. Go ahead and get yourself a piece. It is smoky in here. Yeah, bad. <laughs> really bad. Good? Bomb. Just got the steak off. Really hoping that's going to be perfectly a little medium rare. Let's go ahead and get these fish off. Let me tell you, it's hard to cook something like steak and fish at the same time. Because you're trying to like time. Oh, this is a cheek, I think. Tough trying to time it all out though. I think we got her though. Right. Ooh, let this calm down for a little bit. We're eating good. We got some buns too. I think I might, uh, or I'm definitely gonna rip a, I'm gonna rip like a venison sandwich with some barbecue sauce and some cheese. And I'm probably just gonna eat the walleyes as is. Stay tuned. Plate action. Going in. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that was a cheek. Wow. Bomb. Just gonna set this here. We got us got ourselves a clean cutting board. I really hope this steak's gonna be bussing. The moment of truth. Been resting for about five minutes now. So I'm gonna get a good freaking cut. The outside's hard, but the inside looks pretty good, huh? I need a fork. That was hard to do, though. I'm so used to doing reverse sears, like at home, with the Traeger in the, in the oven. So I'm not used to just frying steak, but that looks perfect. Get yourself a piece. Mm. Listen. Yeah, it's gonna be good on a sandwich. <laughs> what do you got going on over here? Just a quick little Sammy. A little fish Sammy? I uh, am. Yeah. Yeah, more than fish. No, I got a plate over there. Where's all that barbecue? Huh? While we let that rest just a little bit longer, might as well not let this get cold and pound some of this. Get ourselves some. You know, this is barbecue sauce, but it tastes more like spicy, sweet, and sour. It's kind of our new thing. It's so bomb. It's called Traeger Texas Spicy. I think it's going to be really good on our steak sandwich, too. But yeah, bomb on fish. Only thing that would make this cooler is if we caught a fish right now. Fishing's kind of slow. Not even going to cap with you. All right, y'all. Just got done saucing up that steak. And let me tell y'all, that looks pretty good. This is what I've been excited about all day. Gonna grab ourselves a bun, a piece of cheese. Once again, huge shout out to JR's for the bun and cheese for hooking us up. Next, let's grab just a bunch of pieces of this meat. We're gonna grab ourselves some of this sauce. Sauce it up a little bit. Bam. And that's what I've been thinking about all day. Yeah, the walleyes are good and all, but I've been fiending for some meat. Cap it off. Dang, these are some hard buns. All right, first official bite. Mm. A lot of bun there. But bomb. Like... Bomb. All right, stay tuned, y'all. Mm. Dang, fish sandwich and Benny sandwich. Yeah, we're going for yard. This guy's a wild man. Last piece of yard. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm gonna set this up somewhere. I'm just absolutely smash this. Uh, oh. Well, there's the <clears throat> aftermath, y'all. Is there any fish left over there? No, dude. There is one piece right here. None of it? You ate it all? All of it. Alright, hold on. 
We officially ate all the fish. <laughs> officially. Birds cannot explain how delicious that was. I'm sure you guys can relate, but when you're out fishing, especially if you've been fishing in a permanent for like a couple days, food just tastes like three times as great. And that was like two of my top five favorite meals ever put together, so... Anyway, stay tuned, y'all. We're um we're about to clean stuff up, and then yeah, I'm probably just gonna be right back in that bed, all comfy. Hopefully, catching a wall. I don't know though. I don't feel too good. The fishing has been tough. A little update, y'all. I am chilling, all comfortably. It is so slow, y'all. Like legit. I think we've marked one fish the past hour definitely has to be the big cold front we're having or the full moon you'd think with the full moon though they'd be smashing but i don't know with the cold like this like it's so cold out anyway stay tuned y'all uh hopefully we can catch some more if not we're probably just gonna be passing out soon here uh, we gotta be out of here at like eight in the morning and we're actually going to i'm gonna go make another video right after this at another destination so yeah once again, stay tuned. Hopefully we can catch some more before bed. Rack's barking. Racky barking. Oh, there he goes. Got it? He's got it? Yep. No fooling? No fooling. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready, dog. <laughs> okay, okay. Should we do through it? Okay. Hell yeah, dude. Wow. It only took like four hours. Yeah, I was about to say first fish four hours. Quit farting around, come on. Well, hell yeah. People back at TV land, that took forever. I was just about sleeping, laying down in my cot. Perfect eater. Shebang. I don't think we need no, them around, do we? Yeah. Unless we want to give one away. Nah, let them go, let them grow away. Yeah, I'm aware for next time. Yeah. See ya, buddy. Wait. That was like the first one that did it all night. It was like the second fish we've marked in two hours. <laughs> Once again, y'all, it's just been so dang tough out here. But hey, that was cool. That was pretty out of nowhere, too. Well, y'all, we got the lights shut off. We're shutting off the lights just to see if it'll maybe help the bite a little bit. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm either going to accidentally fall asleep or... We're gonna hammer some fish. Well, we got a mess. Bird is over there sleeping. <laughs> Look at this guy. Whew. Let's get him unhooked and I'll show you. All right, just got it unhooked. It is like two in the morning, but not bad. I don't know, it might go like 22, 24-ish. All right, let's get him back. Try not to wake up Bird. There he goes. <laughs> Brock is cashed out, y'all. This rattle reel's coming off. It's like four in the morning. Woke up to pee. Got him. Whoa, that feels nice. Oh, 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 wait. set back up and go back to bed good morning switzerland the old sun is just now coming up i believe it is like 7 30. Oh, i wouldn't do a freaking coma last night pretty much i think i woke up to one rattle reel oh, anyways y'all i think we are about to end this one here unfortunately me and brock have to uh pack up this house, load it up, and uh, hit the road and go to the next spot. Really hope y'all enjoy this one. Uh, pretty tough fishing, to be honest, but man, when you're out here in these shacks, it's always just 
such an awesome time. Really quick, y'all, I got to give one more huge shout out to JR's Corner for allowing us to come out here. If any of y'all are ever coming up to Red Lake or anywhere near, you guys got to go through JR's to get out here. Anyways, y'all, one more time. If you guys could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button. I can't even talk. I'm so tired. New Fishmore merch. Go check that out. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Love y'all. Peace out. We'll see you in the next video.